Hey, Zeppi, you know what I feel like doing? Taking a run around the block in my birthday suit. What? Oh, it prevents streaking. Oh, it must be Zep 40. I get it. What's your favorite part about living in Prince Albert? Well, I have to say, because of my background in, in education and drama and theater, uh, it would probably be the arts community. We have a really strong visual arts community, a lot of uh, artists that work here in Prince Albert, uh, as well as a lot of local musicians. Um, so I would think kind of the rich arts community that we have is probably my favorite part of living here. Okay. Do you have a funny campaign story yet so far? Yes, I have one. I uh, knock on a door and a woman came down to the door and I said, I'm Lauren Borgeson, I'm the federal NDP candidate. She said, oh yeah, NDP. She said, I can tell, because I had a button. And, I said, and she was so positive, I said, you interested in uh, helping out in volunteering? Sure. I said, how about now? You want to go door knocking? Okay, just, I just have to brush my teeth. <laughs> what do you feel, how do you feel about seeing your face on signs? Is it strange? <laughs> I just said an hour ago to somebody, we were picking up signs, and I said, I have to apologize. I tried to get somebody else's picture on there rather than mine. <laughs> I thought it'd be great, you know, Lon Borgerson, uh, but to have somebody else's picture, that would have been I, I'm not comfortable with it. <laughs> um, what's one thing that people should know about you? My dad always used to say, a job worth doing is worth doing well. Uh, so I'm a hard worker and um, I don't do things halfway. Uh, I want I want to do my work well, and so whether that's as a teacher or an MP, that's how I approach my work. What do you think is the most important topic this election campaign? Democracy. From the use of this uh, government, of the Harper government, of omnibus bills, uh, closure of debate, uh, what we're calling the Unfair Elections Act. Uh, to the Senate scandals. Uh, as a young 21-year-old said to me, he came up, uh, that's a story in itself, but he just came up and said, are you the candidate? And I said, yeah. He says, I want to be involved. And I said, why? He says, because this isn't the country that I was raised to believe in. So I think people are nervous about where we've been going. And I forgot C-51, uh, uh, Bill C-51. So I think democracy is uh, the biggest issue. When did you first get into politics and why did you decide to get into politics? Boy, I, I love teaching so much. Love my work as an educator. And things just kind of um, unfolded in a, in a strange way. We ended up getting involved in the Saskatchewan Rivers Provincial Constituency. And the next thing you know, people were asking me if, if I would run provincially. Uh, and I had to jar myself away from, and it was very difficult, jar myself away from the classroom. And, uh, and, we, and we won that election. I became an MLA in 2003. So uh, there's a, a longer story to that, but that's when I first became active. So not that long ago, actually. I'm fairly new to this. What's one thing that you know now that you wish you would have known earlier? Politics sometimes can be tough. And we've always approached our political work, myself and the people who are supporting me, in a very positive way, even with humor. Um, but I have seen enough of politics to know how it can grind people down. And there have been, you know, I've had tough days as well. So, I, and maybe more tough days than I would have thought. Uh, so, yeah, maybe. Fortunately, those tough days are, are few, and the good days are many. Um, I have one extra question, whether uh, Jack Layton has been an inspiration to you at all over the years. Yes, uh, I was an MLA when Jack ran for the leadership of the federal NDP. And uh, there were a number of candidates, and I didn't rush to him, uh, nor did those my closest friends. We all listened to all of the candidates, and in the end, we all unanimously supported Jack Layton. And I met Jack Layton in the course of that, that campaign. 
Uh, and he was, he was a wonderful leader, and we were all heartbroken. We were torn apart when we lost him. Um, but he still inspires me. Um, we're in fact, we're running a couple of ads uh, this week because uh, we are um, on August 22nd. That's the anniversary of uh, the passing of Jack Clayton. So we'll be thinking of him on August 22nd. He was a huge inspiration.